Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I'll show you how to solve one of the most asked questions during coding interview for junior developers. The problem partition array according to given pivot. This question is similar to the famous problem Dutch national flag problem, but there is a tricky part that when you solve it the same way, you will fail the coding interview. So let me show you the difference and also show you how to solve the problem, the partition array according to given pivot. So let's get started. The problem is that they give you an array array and a pivot and they ask you to partition the array into three parts. The first part must be less than the pivot, the second part must be equal to the pivot and the last part must be bigger than the pivot. And the most important condition that we need to respect is that the relative order of the element less than the pivot and the element greater than the pivot must be maintained. And here when it's come the tricky part. If during coding interview try to solve it the same way as the Dutch national flag problem you will get as a result that are sorted and the order are not maintained and that's the tricky part in this problem where a lot of junior developers fail the coding interview so to solve this problem we're going to use a technique called separate and concatenate to partition the array and the idea is that we're going to separate the array into three array and then concatenate them at the end so let's say we have this input array and the pivot equal to 10 so first we create an array that will have all the elements that are less than the pivot 10 and another array that will have all the elements that are equal to the pivot and the last array will have all the elements that are bigger than the pivot then we're gonna loop throughout the array and we set three condition if the current number is less than the pivot we add it to the first array if it's equal to the pivot we add it to the second array and if it's bigger than the pivot we add it to the array then finally we concatenate all the three arrays and as you can see the result will be an array that are partitioned into three sections with respect to the order of the input array. So the time complexity of the solution is often because we are iterating throughout the array once and for the space complexity is often where n is the length of the input array nums and it's because we are creating three array and the three arrays takes often space and total. That's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution. So first we initialize three arrays then we loop throughout the input array and we set three condition if the current num is less than the pivot we add it to the first array. If it's bigger, we add it to the third array. And if it's equal to the pivot, we add it to the second array. And finally, we return the concatenation of the three arrays. And for the Pythonista, you can write it also like that, in just one line. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.